Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. So what I'd like to show you in this film is how to lay a floor. It uh, goes pretty easy. There's a specific floor that we're going to need for this exercise. So uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Go to our home tab. And remember how we work from the left to the right, from the top to the bottom, when we start up here at our interface, starting with uh, the ribbon. Uh, we went from wall, uh, we're not going to put in doors and windows yet, but let's go ahead and put in a floor in here. So if we scroll uh, quite a ways away, uh, a little bit less than halfway, go to floor. And just like with walls and some of the other components we put in, we want to scroll down and pick a library wall that uh, would work. And what's required for this one is a wood joist with a wood finish. Click on that guy. And remember how we put our roof together? You want your boundary line and you want to have your pick walls option. So the pick walls option allows you to pick a wall. And then the boundary line will allow the, the, the lines developed from those walls too. Uh, join together so you don't have to do a lot of extending and trimming and stuff like that or maybe get some un unenclosed uh, geometry that won't work for you so yeah let's get started what we'd like to do is extend our walls all the way to the exterior of our exterior wall so if you zoom in a little bit and notice that when you're beginning to click down here you'll see a dashed blue line that's relatively close to our, the exterior of our wall let's go ahead and click on that guy click on this one and uh, it's not going to let us choose the outside of that line, it's going to choose the inside, so we're going to click there. But we're going to correct that later too. And if we happen to you know, choose something else other than what we want, we could always change that. So now we have something that's kind of weird here. If we press escape a couple times, it doesn't get us out of our sketch. We still have to go up here and order to do the right X or the green check mark in order to get out of here. But there's a couple things that are kind of goofing up our drawing here. If we did the green check mark right now, this is not enclosed geometry, it's got a little gap over here. And we have these extra lines sticking out here. Revit doesn't like that. I don't blame it. But if you do that, it's going to give us an error message. It says it cannot be, lines cannot intersect each other. And uh, this error cannot be ignored, so we're going to have to do something about it. If we quit sketching, it takes us out of there. But let's go ahead and continue and fix this. So remember a trim command, trim extend a corner. This is a good one to use right now. Click on that line, turns blue, because we're selecting there, pre selecting it. If we click on it, click on that. It trims it up real nice over there. We're going to trim this guy and this guy. That trims it up. Now let's take this line here and move it a little bit. Let's move it to our outside line, or the line that represents the outside of that inside wall. And that looks like it's pretty good with, uh, to me. If we want to take our joist, maybe orient it in a different direction. This is a symbol for our joist. It's called a span direction. You can change that up here if you just click on that button up here. Maybe put it over here. I think the span would be a lot less going off this direction. It's less than 20 feet. It's about 15 or 17 feet. It's a lot less of a span distance you have to span and try to support in the middle. So it might work out a little bit better structurally if we do it that way. Okay, if we like it, green check mark. <laughs> nice thing about this floor is it does give us something to select. When you have a floor that doesn't have any uh, lines associated with it, they're difficult to select. There's a way to do that, and I'll show you that in a, in a later video. But let's just make sure we have all of our selections here correct. What it did is it went to our floor one level and built a floor below that. And it built it uh, 10 inches below. So one way to check this, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to check our model. Let's go to, uh, go to view and go to a section, and let's cut that in half and take a look at it. Get our section symbol, double click on that. And now you can see where our floor went. Our floor looks like it went to the core face exterior rather than the finished face exterior, which is okay for now. And there's our floor, and there's our walls that go on top of the floor. So, one thing to keep in mind about the floor level when you put a floor in on the floor level, like level one, it's going to build that floor below. It's going to go to that plane and build it below. If uh, we want to put walls off that level one, it's going to take walls and go from that level that plane and build them up. So that level works in two different directions. Floors go down, walls go up from that level. Another way to check our model is go to 3D view. We haven't done that yet. Probably should have done that before this. And there's our 3D view. One well, thing that kind of stands out here really isn't right is our inside wall should only go up to level 2 and our outside wall should be unconnected to 15 feet. So let's double check that. You can take that outside wall and it says it's going up to level from level 1 up to level 2 so let's do this. Let's make that unconnected. Instead of 10 feet, let's go up 15 feet. Another way to do that is grab this grip and move that up. The problem with that is it kind of goes up an arbitrary distance. And we could do that to this wall. 
let's do this. Let's kind of, uh, click on these two walls and actually correct that. And so to make that go up to level 2, we can go up to Unconnected. And it uh, should be up to 15 feet. Let's try that one more time. Let's make it Unconnected. Top Connected Height. The reason it didn't highlight is because we have two different walls with two different heights. So it just gave us like nothing there. So type in 15 feet and hit Apply. That should be good. So that's our 3D view. What we need next are doors and windows. We'll do that really quick. And then we should be almost done.